what it do. Be to check out our Patreon for the exclusive lounge where you can see full uncut reactions of our YouTube reactions and other series and movies that are not on YouTube. You can make a request for what we should watch next. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so that you're always notified when we post a new video. Also, follow our socials in the description below. But without further ado, hope you enjoy. Maybe there was one more, because it was five on five. Last episode, <laughs> Kotaro lives alone. Alone. Some people binge this. Well, we technically binged it. Two sentences. Yeah, a five apps? Yeah, we pretty much binged it. Ooh, finally! Wait, so are you saying that, that he can, um... Do some more work on his story? <laughs> Is he finally gonna become a mangaka? Oh, <laughs> bugger, it's time. It's time. We finally got one. Oh. You know what's funny? I bet you this... Uh, yeah, there it is. He's thinking about Kotaro now too. <laughs> They've implemented Kotaro as, well, as one of the things. <laughs> that was really good. Oh, what the heck? Oh, I hear you. Who are you? Wait, what now? <laughs> Who are Maybe you? that is his sister. We're, we're, where have you been this whole time? Oh. Oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> She's not really a stranger. It's, you know. Oh, why'd you keep that? Damn, they must have broke off pretty uh well, huh? I guess. Oh yeah, she wasn't part of this. She doesn't know. Yeah. You never knew my, your your ex became, you know, pretty reliable like a person. Father. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or a pretty reliable dude. Is that like a plus for 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 a for a girl? I have no idea. To me, it would look good. You really got your shit together, Mangaka. Yeah, just I'm attracted to anyone who got their shit together. But here's the thing, I don't got mine, so... <laughs> That's a later date. Nah, they'll help. The person will help. <laughs> the person that got their shit together will help. Let's say that. No. <laughs> no! Why would you think that? Yeah, what did you say to him? What presumptuous shit did you say to Kotaro? This is a routine that he's developed through a long period of time. He'll be just fine. The fact that he has this routine build up is actually one of the- Oh god, never mind. <laughs> I was about to be like, it's what keeps him going. Nope, nope, nope. If it's no, killing I him like this. No, I think they just all need freaking balance. Like, he needs to let him know, like, look, I am busy. I still love you. But no, but right now, right now it's a sensitive time because of the manuscript, because of the manga. Yeah, exactly. But starting a manga is always the hardest part comparing to, compared to doing it every week. It's still hard, but yeah. you can probably do, you could probably manage it better whenever he's finally got it going. Right. Don't you have to, don't you have to make multiple volumes before you even start this? Um, I believe so. I don't know the full manga process to BH. <laughs> hey, there we go. <laughs> it's not an obligation, fucker. It's not an obligation. It's what he wants to do. God, he got that dad vibe right now. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's got that father strength going on. Oh, shit. It sucks, though, because this girl, she was just being, uh, whatchamacallit. Yeah. She was just being presumptuous. She was just assuming shit. I think he, she was just putting the context of their relationship into this. Yeah, but now and that she understands way too realistic. this... Yeah, now she understands. This is healthier. <laughs> this is yeah. The whatever the hell you had, guys had. Did he just move on? Yes, he did. <laughs> sure. What? what? Who is this? New character? In the last episode? Uh, Kotaro? Is this when he was younger? That's because he didn't really... He don't got one around. Love the fact that he's just like, I can't see, see you be dirty anymore. Oh, it's his hat. Oh. It's his hat. No, it's his shirt. Is it his shirt? I thought it was a hat. Yeah, he has a shirt that says God was star in the middle and it goes like vertically. <laughs> Got dirty again. <laughs> oh, <that's right. laughs> I think it's a call for help, call for attention. He get him like six packs. He got him like six bucks. Of it. <laughs> the signature. Oh. oh, please keep ringing doorbells. But those that do respond, ringing doorbells is always better than not ringing doorbells. Yeah. Unless you're playing ding dong ding. Then you're a ding dong off. bitch. Hey! <laughs> he still calls it lame. He's like, this is trash, but it's my trash. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> but the people he's been with have been pretty darn good people. It's always shocking for people, huh? I guess it makes I mean, sense. Yeah, he seven is like four. Kid, seven year old kid in that situation, yeah. I love how the, the owner's like, I guess he didn't have parents. <laughs> Weird, right? 
<laughs> so yeah. what? Like, look, as long as he can eat, breathe, and, and it's not a nuisance, okay? It's like a sign to help me or to look for me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, fuck sake. <laughs> I didn't even notice. Oh, God. He's got know. multiple reasons you don't know. And the worst thing is they don't fully know either. We can only kind of confirm the mom because yeah. of the life insurance, which only triggers for death, right? Exactly. That's life the only insurance thing we can for her. Only thing we know. The father, he could go, he could be an alcoholic, a drunkard, he could be dead, anything. Either that or just used to be nice. Some some sort of like you say, I just fuck feel shit. for this kid. Yeah, it's just fuck shit. <laughs> it's not a lie. It was just a bit. <laughs> right. This guy's. This, this guy's <laughs> having a mid afternoon argument. <laughs> yeah. It's like, why the fuck didn't you wake up? <laughs> I need to act like this if, if you ever sleep on me again. How dare you? How dare you? Shut up. <laughs> oh, please, I'm always you going liar. to be on you. What do you mean? You, you liar. You are a liar. <laughs> like, I wasn't oh sleeping. God. I was just closing my eyes and breathing. I will send you a massive amount of alarm clocks. <laughs> I will Amazon Prime you 15 alarm clocks. I'm going to do the same to you after your training days. <laughs> Wait, did he find? Did he figure it out? Who's grave? Who's grave? Who's grave? Who's grave? Is it grandparents? Is it grandparents? Okay. Oh, Jesus. When he's dead, too. Yeah. Damn, better handwriting than me. Couldn't be me. Yeah, because a family grave has all of the. Is that. Wait, is the. Is, is the mom's name. Yeah. Is it there? <sighs> Got her name. Uh, Sayori. Can't do this. <laughs> you gonna, you gonna, you gonna tell him the other side, but <laughs> you know what? These are one of the. These are one of the very, very few times lying is probably the best course of action. With how sensitive this time period is, personally, yeah, it would be different if it was sort of one of those things where they. They like knew, but the problem is, is that she left, so he has no clue when he, when she died at all. Yeah. None of us do, and that's what makes it worse. <laughs> hey, Yakuza, how you doing? Hey, Take, my loyal subject. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh, wait, my first loyal subject. What are you, a king? He's a daimyo. <laughs> the daimyo yeah. of the Kotoro period. Trying to get his king Baji on, collecting as many friends <laughs> as possible. She's sweating bullets still. Never change, girl. Never change. Never change. Oh, God. Holy crap, it's left so... It is left with so many ties. They didn't solve so much stuff has been left unsolved. Season two, please. Thank you. There's oh. no way in hell that they don't have a season two. But it's gonna be even more brutal. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. Uh, I feel like don't, don't I feel like me. this is a tame version. Because we haven't even. We, look, look. Oh God, best girl. Don't remind me. <laughs> she left for for safety. Oh God. Oh, oh. When we talk about support systems, this that, is a support that's system. A, that's not only a support system, that's what we call a villain. It that takes is, a villain. That is a true... That's where that phrase comes from. Damn, bro. That is a true freaking support system. So good. So freaking good. Uh, but yeah, Kotaro lives alone. Oh shit, no, don't rewatch. Chill. Ah, uh, so good. Chill. <laughs> I was about to drop my phone on my face. We are no coordination. Uh. None. Gosh, thank y'all for joining <laughs> us in watching Kotaro Lives Alone. Uh, if y'all are as traumatized and messed up as we are, then yes. <laughs> Please join us for season two if it ever comes. It says TV 14. This is made for 14 year olds. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Maybe 14 year olds if they don't read subtitles, sure. Oh my god. Well, it was made for 14, so it's now. Because shoot, remember, what was one of the first anime you've been watching around that time? Shit. Boku no Pico. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little bit. <laughs> you still see a little bit. I'm fucking with you. I'm not though. I probably got shown that at 14. Please I don't imagine. fuck with me. Please I, I, do I, that. I, I probably, I, I could probably imagine me being shown that at the age of 14. I mean, I was, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> but yeah, uh, this program is understated and heartfelt. It definitely lived up to that. Hopefully, they do a very heartfelt, two. very well thought out. It's so Ooh. so cute. The nuances of the of the I different characters. I want to absolutely characters. destroy 
sorry the creator and curb stomped them a little though. Gosh, imagine the creator you know, is Kotaro. breaking my heart every single app. Thanks. Imagine breaking your heart to the point that this is actually based on a on the creator as a child. Oh, it's not. I, I, at least I don't know. But what if it was? Ah. Oh God, if it was. Either oh. that or they work. Ah. I feel like they work with children a lot. Some way, somehow. And yeah. when they bring some awareness. Similar to like how sports, uh, sports, uh, sports anime usually made by people who played the sport. This mm -hmm. might have been a show where a person was exposed to people that lead these type of lives because it wasn't just his story let's be real here yeah. it wasn't just his story it was all of these characters and yeah the different stuff that they've been through domestic abuse starvation abandonment abandonment <laughs> issues lots of it basically just shows that child Look, delinquency not every parent <sighs> is fucking perfect okay uh, not child making it seems like like it yeah child insensitivity child delinquency yeah. uh Nature versus nurture in terms of how a kid's brought up really clearly yeah. defines who they are. Uh, uh, exposing that not only Kotaro is a one-time thing, but there's actually a bunch of kids being abandoned, which is right. eye-opening. Super sad. The different that signs it constantly to look at. happens, so we should try to find the signs as much as we can. Yeah, just like, how we, just like how we know what to do with a stroke victim, we should know what to do. With an abandoned child. Is it bad? I don't know what to do with a stroke victim. Oh, Jesus. Oh, hopefully, you all enjoyed watching with us. <laughs>